Welcome to the 1K special. You guys, I'm super excited about this one. And the reason is because I never thought that we'd get to the 1,000 subscriber mark. But all of you believed in it and helped me to get here. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. But now, let's begin. Man, 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 man. I'm coming up, I'm coming up, 1,000 subscribers. And I don't know what to do, what to do, what to do. I need guidance, 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 guidance. Please, 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 please. Someone help, someone help, someone help. Fear not, fear my child, my child, my child, my child. Your wish, your wish, your wish, shall be granted, shall be granted, shall be granted. Who, 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 who's there, who's there, who's there? It is I. It is I. It is I. It is the Creator. The Creator. The Creator. Creator. I am known. I am known by many names. But you know me. You know me. You know me. As Arceus. As Arceus. As Arceus. Why? 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 Why are you speaking to me? It is simple, my child. You asked for help. You asked for help. And I am here. I am here to grant your request. But how? But how? But how? But how? My child, my child, my child, my child. My your faith, your faith, your faith and dedication, dedication, dedication has proven, has proven you, are worthy. you are worthy. Worthy, 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 worthy of what? Worthy of worthy of worthy. A gift, a gift, a gift, a gift, a gift. The gift, the gift, the gift of my power, my power, power, power. Your power, your power, your power. Yes, 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 yes. I shall lend I you, shall lend you my, place. my place, my place, my place. Each, each contain the power, contain the power to create, to create a universe. Now go, now go, now go, now go, now go, and tell the story, the story, the story, the story. Create, create, create these universe, universe, universe. As I slumber, 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 slumber. Let me introduce you guys to the what if wheel. So what I've done is taking 18 different what-ifs and place them on this wheel. And I will spin the wheel to see what story will be told next. Some of these are from you guys, my audience. The others are from a list of ones that I've personally put together. So, let's give it a spin and see what this first what-if will be. Well, all right, let's get into the story. We pick up with Ash, who is home in Palatown. It has been some time since his adventures in the Sinner region have come to an end. Ash and his lifelong partner, Pikachu, have been taking some time off as they really hadn't had a vacation in a long while. During this time, Ash has been spending a lot of time with his Pokemon at Professor Oak's lab. But Ash is starting to get the urge to travel again. Professor Oak can see this as well as Ash's mom. The place for Ash is on the road, and they both know it. Then, one day, Professor Oak gets an invite to do some scientific research in the far-off Unova region. He tells Ash and his mom about the invite. Ash's mom thinks it's a wonderful idea. Professor Oak tells Ash that the Unova region is full of Pokemon that has never been seen before. This, of course, catches Ash's attention. The chances of them meeting and catching new Pokemon is too alluring, and Ash is on board. Professor Oak tells Ash that they will be leaving in two days' time. Over the next two days, Ash prepares for his next journey. One of the things Ash has been contemplating is if he should take another Pokemon along with him besides Pikachu. This thought stays in his mind all the way up to the day when he has to leave for the airplane. 
heading to the Unova region. On the second day, Ash and his mom head to Professor Oak's lab. Once they arrive, the car is waiting outside, but Professor Oak is not there, and Ash and his mom head inside. Once Ash gets to Professor Oak's main room, he runs into the professor, and another familiar face, one he hasn't seen in a good while, Paul. Ash is excited to see his rival, and asks Paul what he is doing here. I thought you were heading to Snow Point City to train with Brandon. Paul tells Ash that he did. After he spent some time with Brandon, he went home to Veilstone City to spend some time with his brother, Reggie. After being home with Reggie for a while, Paul started to feel the urge to travel again, but didn't know what to do. Reggie made the suggestion that Paul should go see Professor Oak, as Paul never got the chance to meet him before. Ash is super excited. Without thinking, he challenges Paul to a battle. Ash's mom reminds him that they have a plane to catch. Ash begs Professor Oak for just a quick one, maybe just a two-on-two battle. Professor Oak tells Ash that they can spare a few minutes. Ash then turns to Paul. So how about it, Paul? Let's have a battle. Paul says, sure. Why not? But in the interest of time, why not make it a double battle? This excites Ash, and they head outside. Paul takes his place, and Ash takes his. Paul sends in both his Torterra and his Electivire. Ash sends in Pikachu and Infernape. The battle gets underway and it is very intense. Paul has been training hard. He is not slacked in his training at all. But Ash, on the other hand, it is clear that he is out of sync with Pikachu, and even more so, Infernape. Paul can sense it and takes advantage of it. In the end, Pikachu and Torterra both fall during the battle, and it comes down to Infernape and Electrovire, a rematch of the Cineleague. Ash is a little overconfident and is thinking because he beat Paul and Electivire once before, he can do it again. Paul can see all of these flaws and takes advantage. In the end, Infernape falls to Electivire. After the battle is over and Ash recalls Infernape, Ash is impressed. He tells Paul that he is stronger than ever. Paul turns to Ash and tells him that he wishes he could say the same. Ash, angry, says, what do you mean? Paul tells Ash that the edge and ferocity in battle that he had in their last battle, he lost it. But Paul isn't saying this in a condescending way. He's saying it in a helpful way. Kind of like the advice a big brother would give. Paul tells Ash that his bond with Infernape has weakened since their last battle. This makes Ash think. But then he is interrupted by Professor Oak. Ash, it's time. We have to go. Then Professor Oak apologized to Paul stating he wishes he had time, but unfortunately, he is due to head to the Nova region and won't be back for several weeks. But Paul is more than welcome to stay at Professor Oak's lab until he returns. Ash then says, wait, Professor, can Paul come with us? They all stare at Ash. Ash looks at Paul. Come on, Paul. The Nova region is a place neither of us have been. You should come. This could be exactly what we need. Professor Oak agrees with Ash, telling Paul, that it could be great for his development. Paul is quiet, in deep thought. After some time, Paul decides to take Ash up on the offer. He thinks Ash is following behind, and if Ash starts to get weak, then what does that say about Paul, as he lost to Ash in the center league? Paul tells Ash that he will go, but on one condition. Ash needs to bring in Fernape, as they both need more training. Ash was thinking the same thing, especially after his battle with Paul. And with that, the two head off on the plane and the new adventures that await them in the Unova region. All right, you guys, that's it for part one of the 1K special What If. This is a story that I've been wanting to tell for a while, and I'm glad that it was rolled on the wheel. Anyway, what do you guys think about it? How do you feel about Paul going to the Unova region to travel with Ash? And what do you think about Ash bringing along Infernape as well. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next video.